With the Xperia 5 Mark II, there's no barrier to going out and realizing your creative vision. Sony developers and engineers have combined valuable input from consumers and professionals alike with expertise of decades of experience in professional cinematography to bring high-level capabilities to the Xperia 5 Mark II. In this masterclass, we explore the intersection of technical capability and raw creative potential with the help of two industry professionals on opposite sides of the globe. I'm Tetsuya Besho. I am an actor and also a radio navigator, and I organize an international short film festival. It's called the Short Short Film Festival in Asia. It is accredited by the Academy Awards, and it's one of the largest international short film festivals in Asia. My name is Jeff Berlin. I am a cinematographer, a photographer, and I'm a Sony artisan. I shoot on really almost every Sony camera that there is. One day I could be on the Venice, another day I might be on an Alpha camera, and then I've just recently completed a couple projects on the Xperia. Today, luckily, I'm speaking with the cinematographer in Hollywood, Jeff Berlin. Can I call you Jeff? You can call me Jeff. Can I call you Tetsu? Yeah, sure. Call me Tetsu. <laughs> okay. I've heard that uh, you have uh, recently produced uh, multiple short film with Xperia smartphone, uh, which includes the latest Xperia um, the 5 Mark II. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your experience with the camera? Most recently, I shot a dance project out in Palm Springs, and that was a lot of fun. It really is breaking new ground. It's opening new opportunities for filmmakers like me. It's a true cinematic tool that allows me to tell stories in new ways. And you know, there's a saying that we have, the best camera is the camera that you have with you. The fact that I can have an Xperia 5 Mark II in my pocket all the time is allowing me to create really high quality work in a tool that's accessible to everybody. And that's really exciting for me. The fact that I have amazing image quality and that I can capture amazing audio quality in the same device is a really big deal. So with the wind noise filtering, that's really, really kind of cool to me. This phone is breaking barriers to accessibility to making a real movie, a real film. And the Xperia 5 Mark II and the Xperia 1 Mark II before it really take accessible filmmaking to a new level and they make it more available to a wider audience, which to me is really, really exciting. That sounds great, Jeff. Um, can you tell us about Cinema Pro functions and how they're beneficial to filmmakers? The features in Cinema Pro mode in the phone, it gives me more options in how I tell my story. So the fact that I can shoot 4K HDR in 24p all the way up to the high frame rate, to the 120 frames per second, and I can really linger on a shot and influence how the audience feels by making them hold on that and enhancing the emotion in that shot and what I want them to feel with this high frame rate, with this super slow motion. So it's super, super cool. Another thing I like is the wide aspect ratio, that you're getting the highest image quality in what a native 21-9 aspect ratio, so that's really a, a win for filmmakers like me. Wonderful. The three lenses, the three cameras, the 16, and the 24, and the 70, they're optical image stabilized, autofocus, and fast lenses. I think the 24 is an f1.7. Really good for shooting in lower light conditions. I have some really good options for um, ISO. So in bright light, I can go down to ISO 64. Um, in low light, I can go way up to 800. So, and again, just the fact that I have this in a, in a, I can just, you know, I can just stand up, put it in my pocket, and I'm ready to go. So now such great features are in such a compact smartphone. How is technology changing cinematography industry from your standpoint? So Tetsuyo, you know, one of the things that is so interesting to me about this phone is that it increases the democratization of filmmaking. It gives young and fledgling filmmakers an actual real cinematic tool that they can shoot their projects with and realize their creative visions. And actually that is something that I know you're very involved with 
with your short, short film festival. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about that and how that's giving a venue to these young, aspiring filmmakers. The film festival that I organize, uh, we have uh, just established a smartphone film competition supported by Sony for 2021, which is next year, and now accepting the entries from August uh, this year. So the, this festival is called, again, Short Short Film Festival in Asia. And also we have online talk event. It's called the Creative Junction partnered with Xperia. It's gonna happen the 28th at night. Uh, we invite filmmaker Naomi Kawase, please join us. So I believe the, this provides the place to present uh, the short film uh, works. I can't wait to see what all these young and aspiring filmmakers are going to create with their Xperia smartphones. There's no reason now to not grab your Xperia and go out and realize your creative vision. There's no barrier to going out and creating a film that can be shown in a theater. I think you're falling in love with, uh, with your smartphone already. Well, you know, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I have an Xperia 1 Mark II right here, which is my other phone that I love, but I have the Xperia 5 Mark II right here. It's been a fun, fun device to work with. It's super exciting.